Welcome to Backstage Pass, Stage 3, Terrain Adriatico. Uh, today should be the first sprint, my first race with uh, Luca. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it and, and hopefully we can do something in the final. Yeah, I uh, spoken yesterday with the Jaya and Alpesini guys. And all guys asked me about Mesa. And I say, hey, yeah, he's my roommate. I'm really proud, no? And the Jaya and Alpesini guys say, oh, I miss a lot this guy. It's not the same thing without him. Oh, say hello, please. He's a fantastic guy. But it's true, he's a fantastic guy. <laughs> I feel okay. I'm looking forward to work with Caleb and uh, yeah, I hope uh, I can do a good job for him. And what's going on with the John Elferson boys? They all miss you, mate. <laughs> ah, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't know. You, you should ask Esteban, he knows it. Chris, we uh, don't have a good track record on backstage to come up with nicknames, so we try it with uh, Cam Moir. Monkey Bean. Oh man, he's pissed off. What do you reckon the nickname there, Monkey Magic? Well, I reckon if I'm Monkey, then uh, you're Pigsy, but a chunky version. Uh, we tried it with uh, Yates here at the tour. Um, what's your middle name? You got a middle name? Richard. Richard? Oh, yeah. Dick. Dick. <laughs> Done. Okay. Yates. Orica. Dick. Dick. Adam. Adam. Do or do not. There is no try. General. You're the owner in general. Maybe get the Star Wars fans out. You're the more... You're the wiser. Wiser of the two. How many people call you Yoda? Nobody. It's rubbish, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I tried it. I'm rooming with him. I tried it once. Didn't rate it. Yeah. So, uh... He threw a JJ right back in my face. So what, do you, what do you reckon? It's got to be something like... Look at that guy, the Honey Badger. And finally, um, Honey Badger, your nickname. Can you explain why? A, a badge. Um, oh, look, you know, long story short, basically uh, there's a documentary on uh, National Geographic or Animal Planet, one of them fox bloody setups, and um, yeah, I, I watched this, this thing and this honey badger was going toe to toe with a, with a male lion and um, I managed to, it was un underneath him, bloody on, underdog, obviously, but he on his back, clawing away, one, two, and then bloody the, the big fella um, got his canasters clawed off and, and he trotted off around the corner and fell over and the badger gets back up and I thought, what an animal, you know, that's bloody, that's impressive. <laughs> he, he came up with it himself, so why don't you just pick like a weird animal or something like that? Uh, yeah, I think um, I have to go on the hunt for, for one. Maybe ask a few fellas in the bunch, like uh, Spartacus. I mean, but I, that requires that I win a few races. I mean, a man like him, he wins every race about five times, so he can call himself after a superhero. Although if I was called Fabian, I'd maybe go like, Fabulous cancellar, fabulous. Look at the giant guys. Hey? Look at the giant guys. It's search for for Mesa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're 130k into our 170 odd k stage, and uh, it's been a pretty simple day actually. The early break was a bit lumpy at the start. Early break, and we've had uh, the old uh, Choo Choo engine, Spain Tough, there on the front with a couple of the edX boys, and they've uh, had this breakaway well under control. So I'd say just over two to three minutes now. So one more climb to go, and then we've uh, got a little bit of wind, and it looks like it'll be a bunch of sprint, and Caleb's going to get his chance. Breakaway is over and now it has all come back together again for the big finale. 1.3 kilometers remaining. 
Pete Sagan just dropping into third wheel behind the green jersey there. Well, the green jersey of uh, there he is, there he is in the middle, in the middle. He's had he's in the middle. He is now boxed out he's of in the control. Middle. Sagan very well placed, but there's a big move from Gaviria on the outside. The Colombian has come to the front. He hits the front now with 100 metres to go. Can the Colombian hold on? Ewan, Caleb Ewan is closing all the time. It's those two oh. young guns, and Gaviria gets the better of that particular battle. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty tough day actually. Um, Sueno rode the front all day, bloody impressive. And then, yeah, the, the boys did a great job just keeping me up the front and, and out of trouble. And, and in the last 25Ks, they, you know, they kept me like no further back than top 20. So it was, it was a perfect ride from the team. And, and then in the end, you know, I, I think I just wasn't quick enough. But um, yeah, I think next time I can get him.